fat scraps, I'm an okay cook sharing tasty recipes. Today's tasty recipe has been dubbed leather chicken. And I don't know why my sons decided to call it that, but that's what we're calling it. It's called leather chicken. And so what you need for this, of course, is some chicken breasts. Then I use kosher salt because the bigger crystals, I think, add kind of a nice little crunch to it. Some pepper. I used to use red pepper flakes, but what I really ended up liking is paprika, but the half sharp. It's got a nice flavor to it and adds a little bit of heat. That's really good. Garlic salt is really uh, tasty. And of course, what I like to add too is umami flavoring. If you remember, umami means savory taste. And um, I get that in all my sauces that I add a little bit of anchovy paste to. But this is um, a sprinkle that you can get and it just adds a nice flavor to that. Now. The spices that I use, these are what I like. You can substitute anything you want that you think would taste better. Maybe you want to put some oregano on there or red pepper flakes, whatever you want to use, and it's all good. Now, the trick to this whole meal is, is to get these chicken breasts as flat as you can. I'm going to show you how I got them flat before I got smart and finally bought myself one of these puppies. It's just a meat mallet, and you can use it to pound, of course, pound the meat as flat as you can get it. I tried a rolling pin once, but the surface area is too small for that, and I'm sure that if I had thought about it a little bit, I could have just used a can. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. My drink of choice for today, because it's a little cold outside, so I thought I would have a little Guinness Extra Stout. It's a nice drink for a cold day. Sante. All right, let's get started here. So the way that I used to do it is I take my chicken breast, and if you have a nice thin knife like this, this works great. Any knife would work if you can do it. And I'd simply butterfly my chicken breast. I'm sure that is the most dangerous way of butterflying a chicken breast that you can have, but that's me. I live on the wild side. Okay, so I got them um, butterflied like that, and then all I would do, I would just take and just squish them as flat as I can get it, okay? And if it breaks up or it has little holes in it when you do it, that's fine, because what that does, it adds more little edges that can have that nice crispy, um, crunchy part of that. So, okay. So, let's flatten all our um, chicken breasts and we'll come right back. Okay, we have our chicken breasts flattened as much as I can by squishing it. So, let's um, start seasoning it. Little kosher salt. Okay. All right. Little black pepper. We really love this taste of pepper. Um, if you could start grinding your own pepper, that it just adds so much more flavor. Okay, little half sharp paprika. Okay, we got that. Little garlic salt. And little umami. And what I like to do, I don't know why, I just squish that stuff into it. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Okay, we got our chicken all ready to go, all spiced up the way that we would like it. Um, let me tell you, there's, a, in order of preference, the way of cooking this is grilling it outside, then using your broiler, and then finally frying it. And the reason frying isn't the top one is because it doesn't give that nice um, kind of crispy texture. But you're in for a real treat today because you're going to enter into an experiment that I'm having. I got this bad boy as a Christmas present to myself. It's a indoor grill. Um, supposedly this can get hot enough to sear the meat so it should be sort of kind of like the outdoor grill so we're going to see what it is. I got this because this particular model, just because it was rated the best for its price range, which was 
cheap, okay? But I splurged and I pay, spend about um, five bucks more so I could get it with the window, so I could watch my food like I need to watch my food. When I got this, I finally ended up reading <laughs> the manual afterwards, but I found out that the actual heating unit in this thing um, can be put in the dishwasher. Now, I'm not gonna put it in the dishwasher, but that's great to know because then that means I can submerge it and clean it. So we'll see how that all works. What we're waiting for now is just for the light to turn green to say it's hot enough, and then we'll put our meat on that. So, okay. The green light is green, we're ready to go. It took about oh, maybe five, six minutes to get up to heat. I have it turned on as high as I can. So now I do this even if I'm grilling it outside because there's hardly fat, any fat at all on the uh, chicken breast. I usually just spray it with a little bit of Pam to just give it a little bit more um, uh, grease so it doesn't stick or anything like that. So. Here we go. Let's see how this puppy's gonna work. Okay, first of all, I notice the grill is not big enough to hold all this chicken, which is fine. I knew that would happen. So let's put it. It has a sizzling sound. That's great. Put this one on. Ooh, that smells really good. This is awesome. This is working. Okay. Like I said, it's not as big as it, that it could be, but it's working really well. It suggests that I keep the lid down, and of course, because it keeps the heat in. So we're gonna let this cook for a little while, and then uh, I'll come right back and we'll see how it's going. Okay, there's a little bit of smoke, but not much, that's great. I think it's time to turn it. Oh my gosh, this is looking really, really good. Well, there's grill marks on there at least. Oh, this looks great. This looks great. And it flips really nicely. And uh, everything's looking good. I let it cook for about, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. Um, and these are thin, so that worked pretty good. So far, I'm really pleased in how this is turning out. Well, we'll finish these and then finish that. And then we can have dinner. Okay. The chicken's been cooking for about 15 minutes or so. Let's see how it looks. It looks great. So, let's see. Nice and seared, you can see it. It's nice and hot. And you can see the crispy bits, and that's what makes this thing so nice. There's some crispy bits on that one. I have to say, I do like my new indoor grill. This works really well. Well, let's see how this is gonna taste. All right, tonight for supper, we're having leather chicken, some of Steve's rice, and then I will have a green salad along with it. So let's just see. <laughs> I am a happy cowboy. That is so tasty and this works really well. See you next time.